In this video, we are going to talk about the Cloud Video Interop integration, for Cisco WebEx and Microsoft Teams meetings. With this integration, you can join the Microsoft Teams meetings, using your WebEx devices registered in WebEx Cloud, or on-prem. Let's find out, what are the pre-requests for this integration? First, you need to purchase a CVI license from Cisco, and get it provisioned to your WebEx organization. To check whether your organization has a CVI license provision, follow these steps. Open your internet browser. Go to admin.webex.com. Log into your WebEx organization using the admin credentials. Select Hybrid from the Services section. Find the service card named Video Integration. In the service card, you get the setup option, only if the CVI license is provisioned, otherwise, you do not get the option set up. Next, get the Office 365 Global Admin Credentials of your Office 365 tenant. You may need to contact your Office 365 admin for this. These credentials are required to give permission during the integration. Then, check the format of the SIP address for Cisco WebEx calling in your WebEx organization. To check the SIP address, follow these steps. Go to Organization Settings under Management. Scroll down to the section SIP address for Cisco WebEx calling. Here, you can see both the SIP addresses are with the WebEx.com domain. If the SIP addresses are not in WebEx.com domain, click Edit Subdomain and change the SIP address. It is recommended to make this change in off hours, since it take up to 8 hours. Next, prepare a machine with PowerShell version 5.1 or later. This machine requires an internet connection as well. You need this machine to access the Office 365 using PowerShell. To do the integration. Next, download and install the Skype for Business Online Connector module in the above mentioned machine. You can use this link and download the Skype for Business Online Connector module. Click Download to download the setup file. Click Save File and the setup will be downloaded to your machine. Run the executable file you have downloaded. Accept the terms and conditions, then click install to start the installation. Once the installation is successful, close the installation wizard and restart your machine. Now, let's see how to do the integration. First, open PowerShell in the machine prepared in the per requests. Run this command in PowerShell to connect to your Office 365 instance. Enter your Office 365 admin credentials and click OK. Run this command in PowerShell to import the Skype for Business Online connector. Then, run these two commands one after another in PowerShell to connect to Skype for Business Online Connector. Once the connection is successful, you will get a prompt like this. Keep the command prompt window open. Go to your WebEx organization admin portal. Go to Hybrid from the Services section. Find the service card named Video Integration. Click Setup. Click Authorize. It will take you to the Microsoft login page.
Enter your Office 365 admin username, and click Next. Enter your Office 365 admin password, and click Sign In. It will list, all the permissions required, for the Cloud Video Interop. Click Accept. Once permissions are granted and verified, you will be back in the WebEx Control Hub page. You will get two commands, for you to run, on the Open PowerShell prompt. Copy the fist command, using the copy icon. Paste it in the PowerShell, and hit enter to run the command. Once it is successful, again go to the WebEx admin portal. Copy the second command. Paste it in the PowerShell, and hit enter to run the command. Once it is successful, again go to the WebEx admin portal. Click OK. Click Done, to finish the integration. Now, you can see the video integration, is in operational status. Now, let's see the result of the integration. Open your Microsoft Teams client. Go to Calendar, and schedule a meeting. Enter the meeting details as you usually do. Click Send. Open the meeting in your calendar. Scroll down, to see the invitation body. Here, you can find a new section named, Join with a video conferencing device. Under that, you get the SIP address, and the video conference ID, of this meeting. You can use these details, and join the Microsoft meeting, using a WebEx device.